Today's guide's talking about merchants on Scimitar, because they're not in the same places as they are on Exiled Lands. I'm Ellie Ben, and I play a lot of survival games, Conan Exiles being one of my favourite, and I like to do guides. So this is the Merchant Guides of Scimitar. We're starting off over here at the, cast the camp of the castaways. About to say the custom way of the camps in 13i pretty easy to locate they're friendly here even when you're not on god mode i usually film these in god mode because it's easier but i digress don't attack them because they will attack you think sepumaru exiled lands if you're new to sipta and you've played exiled lands before if you're new to conan i recommend probably starting on exiled lands and then coming over to sipta because otherwise you'll ruin exiled lands for yourself although they've got the both got their pros and for sure i definitely play exiled lands more i I believe savage wild should be an official map but that again is besides point this is a merchant's guide we start off here at the camel vendor you're going to want to bring some gold coins with you and a couple of silver coins for some other random things i have the moment have two thousand of each don't mind this other stuff for other videos and you can buy a camel car for that and that's going to give you a camel that you can put fancy stuff on from the battle pass or just have a regular camel they now look like that they no longer have a saddle if it's just a vanilla camel but they have extra storage and they're kind of cool for your base Go into the town. There's nothing much along here. Going to fly. Bunch of crew about. There's some things to kill over this way, and I dare say there'd be golems and that about to kill. You'd have to adventure to find out. This is the guide on merchants. Oops. So head down the ramp. And first we're going to find the shoe bill egg guy. We're going to buy a couple of these. You need to put shoe, um, any type of egg you get into a compost bin to hatch them quicker and then into your animal taming unit. You can keep them in the pen to produce stuff or you can put them out as decoration or whatnot. Talk to her and give her scout reports that you can find around from dead bodies to get some gold. Although gold is very easy on this map so I also don't know why they added that. But again beside the point. Oop, go back to walking now we're here that might be easier. Some that's drunk people. Over by the bar, we're going to find the ale. Buy a couple of ales for silver coin. Mystery meat soup lady. That's a vitality buff, so pretty worth getting a couple. Over here, spiced pork, which is just a spicy food. Honeyed wine, just a honeyed wine. I don't think it does anything actually. Healing, but yeah, whatever that means. Um, if you're getting drunk, I'm not sure if it's that helpful. This is the glass flask guy. So they're all basically just lined up around. Some of them you gotta go up and down for. Feathers for silver coins, kind of a rip off, but spider eggs, we'll buy a couple of those, cause why not? Bear pelts for silver coins, not really that worth it. Elephant hides, also not that worth it. If you're looking for elephants, there's a lot down in this area, but you can also find some Sipta ones around. Oh. Be careful not to click on the crew members if you have a thrall following you and they'll attack it and then you have to run away. Then over to the other side is where you're going to find the golem guy. And this is where you learn golem crafting and you can also buy various different golem parts off him. They don't have all the other like, um, it's not like Mechamosis is fire so not all of the thrall carts are around here, the Catan caravans. But I'll show you where some of those are in another guide because they may not always be here and they're not particularly, yeah. Anyway, Rock Nose Merchant, she's probably fairly obsolete on this map again because you can get so much gold and silver around most Lay Shrine, not Lay Shrines, um, vaults, like specifically like this one has a lot, for example, so a couple more guys chilling by the fire, Sand Reaper eggs, they're kind of worthy, not sure if there's anywhere to pick up slugs. And you can also find a couple of stray cats around here that you need to put into your animal pen to develop into regular cats to use as little cats around your base. Don't have a lot of HP, but if you're playing on PvE, that doesn't matter. That's pretty much all that you can find here. Oh yeah, the iced tea guy. I just like kind of walked straight past him before. Maybe he hadn't spawned in yet. Sometimes that happens. Here's another stray cat. Pick it up. Oh yeah, I think that's all of them here. You just walked in a fire. My gosh, are you... And at a slightly more aggressive place, but some slightly less known about... Oops, people are just spawning in. Uh, known about merchants, you can get yourself some Sipta Kitties by coming over here to the tower watch keep by the tower and all of that make your way up upon all this aggression you can yeah it's gonna you, it's gonna be an effort to work your way through you can run really quick and try and get away 
but they probably kill your way down. There's this merchant, which gives you tamed Yakith for 500 gold. This merchant that gives you a tamed Yakith pack leader for 1,000 gold, which is a much better buy. Wanted more gold. And then beyond that, this place has lots of good thralls that you can come and get. Um, it's pretty crazy because there's a lot of them around here. So be warned for that. If you see these about, click on them because they can give you cool stuff or a Grosjean Dream Dust. You often get legendary weapons and things from them. See, there's some elephants right now. The Yakith and that one. So this one's definitely more worthy. I don't have an authority build. Probably have an authority build, but they look pretty cool as just a uh, decoration. Anyway, so that's a bit unique to Sipta itself. You come get it here at this place. So mostly these are the two places that I know of that there are any merchants. If you know of any other merchants on Sipta, pop it up in the comments. I can make another video. But that is where you learn golem crafting, which is super fun. So you can have golems on Sipta and buy a whole bunch of other useful stuff like glass flasks while you're there. I hope you found this information informative. If you did, do smash that like and subscribe button. Until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.